Hello everyone, it is the Beave. I wanted to uh, make a video in response to a question that was asked in the Crusaders Guild. Uh, the, we had a question about Healing Springs and uh, what people are using to replace it. And I see a lot of people in there that are uh, <clears throat> replying with they didn't really even use it in the first place or they're not using it now. And uh, I still think it's a very viable option. You only have to cast it one time and it stays out for... Um, what is it? Eight seconds, I think so. Let me, let me, let me look at this. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, so illustrious healing. Uh, it's 11 seconds. That is, uh, it's 1965 health every second for 11 seconds. Um, and it's, uh, that, that, that's a really good heal. <laughs> that's, the, over the, over the course of that, that's, uh, you know, 20,000 health over the course of that one ability being being put out. So, uh, and that's not counting if it crits. If it crits, you're going to get even better. So, uh, I still think this is a very viable uh, option when it comes for healers. Um, I have a complete heal rotation that I use in fights that I'm going to show you here in a minute. Flower is on her DPS standing in the background here. I'm surprised she's not clowning us yet. She, uh, well, here she starts. Here she starts. So, uh, I seen some push-ups earlier. I figured it was coming. So, uh, what I got going on with this healer is, first off, I'm using, uh, Radiant Regeneration. This is the, uh, old mutagen. And, uh, you and up to three nearby allies for 20,000 health over 10 seconds. So, about a 2k tick, uh, per second on that heal right there that's really good and hits everything you only got to hit it once and it hits everyone in the group within 28 meter radius that is if you're in a dungeon a four-man dungeon in a trial and it's not it's not working that well in a trial you'd have to cast it a few times but uh then there's the illustrious healing this is the uh <clears throat> the other morph where i'm not using the healing springs anymore i'm using the illustrious for the uh for the amount of healing it does and uh, how long it lasts. I have my com combat prayer. I have my breath of life. This is my oh crap heal. If somebody hits low health, I can hit them with a quick uh, health, a uh, quick uh, burst of uh, health. I also am using energy orb. Uh, this is uh, uh, 1097 health every half second, and anybody synergize it gets back uh, health and uh, magicka and or stamina, whichever one of theirs is higher. I run barrier on my front bar for extra protection for my uh, for my group in uh, harsh situations. Uh, back bar, I am lightning staffing, so I'm using blockade of storms. I am using this uh, to set enemies off balance and to... Uh, do a little bit of supplemental DPS. Doesn't have to be a whole lot, honestly. And uh, I have uh, I have a Crusher Glyph on this uh, Lightning Staff as well, which uh, you know debuffs the boss. So I'm I'm supplying Crusher on a two-handed weapon, so I'm getting really good uh, debuff out of it, so that the tank doesn't have to have that uh, doesn't have to be using the Crusher enchantment. On his one-handed weapon, I'm able to apply it myself, and it allows my tank to use other glyphs that are more beneficial to him. Uh, Luminous Shards. This is a shard that does damage and uh, gives back uh, Magicka or Stamina, whichever is higher, and it also restores a little bit of Magicka or Stamina, whichever is lower. So this is uh, another good synergy to have on your bar. I have the <clears throat> Power of Light. This is a stamina-based ability for the Templars, which uh, it, do, it, it does a little bit of physical damage, and it copies the damage. It doesn't do really much, uh, a whole lot of damage, to be honest with you. But that's not why I have it on here. I have it on here for uh, when, it's, uh, when this is put on something, it inflic inflicts the... Uh, target with minor breach and minor fracture, reducing their spell and physical resistance. So I'm able to help apply uh, major, minor breach and minor fracture for nine seconds. And with my blockade on my lightning staff, with my crusher glyph on it, I am helping debuff the boss so that our DPS is hitting harder. 
I also have this Radiant Aura. This is a flex slot for me. This Radiant Aura, uh, what this does is uh, it's something you throw down and when uh, anything within that 25 meter radius for the 24 seconds that it's active, that your, uh, that your DPS or yourself does damage to, it'll give you back 300 Magicka per second while damaging them. So it's really good for my own utility and group utility as well, helping keep people keep their Magicka up. I say this is a flex slot because <clears throat> they've made this uh, this blood altar a little better than it was before. Uh, it's an instant cast now. It does cost health, but I'm not really that concerned with that. But uh, it does kind of the same thing. It does the minor life steal. Anything within that 28 meter radius on this that's taking damage is giving back 817 health every one second to uh, my fellow dungeon mates that are doing damage to them. Plus that uh, blood flannel synergy is really good and when you get this to overflowing altar, it's like 65% rather than 40%, so it's a huge burst heal just for synergizing it as well. Uh, I have my <clears throat> Ritual of Retribution. This does some damage. Plus, it is a, uh, a heal over time as well. Plus, my uh, group mates can hit this uh, synergy to purify themselves. And then I have, right now I have Solar Prism on here. Normally I run Aggressive Warhorn or uh, every now and again I'll run like a healing ultimate. But I'm <clears throat> putting my Aggressive Warhorn back on here at the moment. Actually... Yeah, put my aggressive warhorn back on there. That's fine, but a uh, little bit more group utility as well. <clears throat> now, the gear that I wear with my healer is uh, Twilight Remedy, <clears throat> which uh, Twilight Remedy is found in Maw of Lorcaj. Uh, Magicka Recovery, Minor Aegis, Spell Damage, and when an ally activates a Synergy, they heal themselves for 25,000 health over 10 seconds and gain Minor Force, increasing their critical damage done by 10%. This can occur once every 10 seconds per ally. <clears throat> so, this is, uh, this, this is a really nice thing right here. Uh, anytime any of my uh, DPS hits a Synergy that I put out, uh, they're going to get uh, a huge heal over time and minor force. Uh, really nice for group utility, in my opinion. I like this set for that reason. Um, Synergy-wise, I have... <clears throat> I have my energy orbs, which are a synergy. I have my luminous shards, which are a synergy. <clears throat> I have my... If I have my blood al altar on, that is a synergy as well. Um, if I have my Ritual of Retribution right here, this is also a synergy. So I got a bunch of synergy, different synergy options for <clears throat> our, uh, <laughs> I got a lot, <clears throat> pardon me. I have a bunch of different synergy options available for our, uh, DPS and tanks. So, uh, it gives that, uh, set a chance to really help with the heals over time in that situation as well. Plus provide minor force, which is going to uh, increase uh, DPS. Uh, it's going to increase uh, damage done with uh, critical damage. The other set that I'm wearing is... Uh, going past it. <clears throat> uh, spell Power Cure. <clears throat> Whenever you heal... Uh, well, maximum Magicka, maximum Magicka spell damage. When you heal yourself or an ally... That is 100% health. You have a 50% chance to give them... Give the target major courage for 10 seconds, increasing their spell and weapon damage by 258. So, <clears throat> this right here, um, with all the different synergies and all the different heals over time, this stays up a good bit, and it's really great for group utility as well. Plus, I am using the Symphony of Blades helmet and uh, shoulders... <clears throat> this is 4% uh, healing done. When you heal an ally, it's under 50% of their primary resource. Grant them Meridius Favor, which restores 2244 Magicka or Stamina every one second for six seconds. 
This effect can occur once every 18 seconds, so this is really good for group utility as well. <clears throat> now I have a rotation with this tune as well when I'm healing. I am re I'm doing my Radiant Regeneration, my Illustrious Healing, my Combat Prayer, my Breath of Life, my Energy Orb. Then I'm going to Bar Swap, and I'm doing Blockade of Storms, Luminous Shards, Power of Light, Radiant Aura, Ritual Retribution. I'm doing a Fully Charged Heavy Attack to get back my Magicka, and then I'm going to start over. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm using every ability. I shouldn't have said uh, Breath of Life. This is only when I need it, so if it's not needed, I skip over Breath of Life, and I hit my Energy Orb. Now, that sounds like a lot of things going on, but uh, Flower is going to hit this Test Dummy behind us. And you're going to see, my Alexa just picked that up apparently, but uh, <clears throat> you're going to see, she's going to hit this test on me and I'm going to just start throwing uh, heals out. You can, you'll be able to see all the green numbers coming off her, all the heals that she's getting, the heals over time. She's going to hit shards and get heals and bubbles and get heals over time and whatnot. And uh, we're just going to run through this. You'll see the rotation that I use and uh, how much healing that's coming from that rotation and uh, it is a lot of abilities, but you'll be surprised how uh, how good it is on Magicka. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get that started. Right, so there you go. You'll see that uh, in, in the process of doing all that, I did 8,500 damage per second. So I provided a little bit of extra uh, secondary DPS in that situation. Not a whole lot, but I hope you've seen all the green numbers coming off and the, uh, the, the amount of healing that I'm able to do with this uh, particular build and this particular setup. And uh, I hope that kind of answers your questions about rotation. I hope it kind of answers your question about the, uh, the healing springs and their morphs. I still think they're very viable. Um, you're getting a lot of heals over time coming from them. If you're throwing down that many heals like I am right there and still able to keep your Magicka up like I did, I even hit a couple of Breath of Life's in there just to show you that hitting a Breath of Life every now and again uh, does uh, still had plenty of magicka to finish all of that uh all of that dummy and all of that rotation right there so that is uh pretty much all i got for you guys i just wanted to uh kind of go over that uh show you uh my thoughts on it i hope that helps i'm not trying to insinuate that somebody else is doing it wrong i'm just trying to say this is the way that i do it and i hope that uh i i, I hope that you know Anybody that, uh, you know, had questions about the, the, the healing spring morphs and everything, I hope that answered your questions, and I hope it, uh, you know, shows people that you can actually have a rotation as a healer as well, and, uh, be able to apply 
multiple different buffs, debuffs, and uh, really help the group out with support and uh, give them the ability to do even more damage. That's all we got, guys. Thank you very much, and uh, I hope that helped. Hey, bye.